Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me and welcome to my 12 weeks of Halloween week 6. And we're going to start off with a box that I created with the gift box punch board. It's a 4x4x4 box made from a 12x12 12 12 piece of basic black cardstock. And if you need a video to show you how to punch and score and assemble this, let me know here below my YouTube video or if you're on my website in the comment section below this post. So I've assembled it and already uh, secured it at the top which you would uh, fill your box with goodies before you ever did that. And now we're going to do some simple embellishing, and we're going to be using this cute Sparkly Season set from the Holiday Catalog. I'm going to be using the little jack-o'-lantern pieces. So I have some Tangelo Twist cardstock and my Tangelo Twist ink. And I'm taking this cute little chevron circle that we're going to use for the pumpkin. And I'm going to stamp. I really should have my stamping mat beneath it, but that turned out okay. Now I'm going to close this up and take the jack-o'-lantern face and my memento black ink. I'm going to ink that up. And the photopolymer allows me to stamp where I need it, right there in the center of the circle. And then I have a piece of Cucumber Crush, and I have the little stem and the leaf for the jack-o'-lantern, and I'm using Tone on Tone again. I'm going to stamp this here, and now I'm going to set up the big shot so we can do some cutting with the coordinating framelits. Okay, so I have cut the circle uh, with cut out the jack-o'-lantern face with the circle. I'm sorry about that. And then I have the little leaf and the stem cut out with the coordinating uh, framelit. And now they have these thinlet pieces uh, for seasonal sayings. I'm going to do spooky out of crushed curry, but they also have grateful, snow, and fa-la-la. Just love that. Love those scripted words. So pretty on a card or a project. So now I'm just going to run this through, and you can use wax paper beneath to make it a little easier between the thinlet and the cardstock, but I chose not to. I'm just going to see it slipped right out there, and I'm just going to poke it through and get this word out very easily. Okay. All right, then my K is coming out here. And let's move this out of the way and we can do some assembly. All right. So let's take a look. We've got our box, okay? And first, I want to take some of this Tangelo Twist cotton ribbon and I'm just going to tie it around the box and put a little knot up here. And I'm doing this first so I can determine the placement of my jack-o'-lantern. Okay. That's good there, so let's give that a trim. Now, I think I'm going to pop that up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm wanting to put my word across the bottom like this, okay? So let me get my adhesive going. Let's try Dimensionals. Give it a little pop-up look. Okay, let's just center that like that. And then we're going to take the little top notch there. Mm, I kind of like it at an angle. So, let's try a dimensional behind that too. What the heck? Okay. Let's do this. Cute. Love those bright colors on that black. 
Now for spooky, I'm going to use our new fine tip glue pen. And it has a little thin pen-like nozzle there. Let's see. And then another pen in the lid. And that pen slips down into the middle of that nozzle to keep it from clogging. I love it. This is great for sequins or little, and I like it for these little thinlets too. I'm just putting on the O's right there at the top. I'm just going to do just like that and let that be suspended. Let me go ahead and put this lid on. I'm brave trying to do this on camera because my eyes and the glare are not going to cooperate, but I might get lucky. There we go. All right. So there's our project. Uh, look for a makeover and a fall theme soon. If you have any questions, leave them here below the video or on my website at inkandinspirations.com where you'll find more ideas. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.